Welcome back to Funly Talks. Today let's decode another investment jargon, the Sharpe Ratio. Let's go. Most of us tend to assume that higher returns means great investment, right? But is it that simple? What we might not realize is that investments offering sky high returns often involve significant levels of risk. That's precisely why it's crucial for you to seek out investments that not only promise good returns but do so with an acceptable level of risk. This is where Sharpe ratio comes into the picture. Sharpe ratio evaluates the risk and the return of an investment together to help us make a smart investment choice. But how on earth do you calculate the Sharpe ratio? Firstly, to compute Sharpe ratio, we need to know the average portfolio return, that is the average return of the scheme. Risk-free rate of return. The risk-free rate of return usually mirrors the return of an investment with zero risk like that of government bonds or treasury bills and the standard deviation of the portfolio return. Let's take an example. Say investment A's average return is 28%. Risk-free rate of return is 10% and standard deviation is 14%. Now to find the Sharpe ratio of the investment, you would subtract the risk-free rate of return from the average return of the portfolio and then divide the result by the standard deviation of the portfolio's returns. So the Sharpe ratio for investment A would be 1.28. Now let's calculate the Sharpe ratio for investment B, whose average return is 34%, risk-free rate of return is 10% and standard deviation is 15%. Therefore, the Sharpe ratio for investment B would be 1.6. Typically, a higher Sharpe ratio means that your investment or portfolio is giving you better returns for the amount of risk you're taking. It could be a sign that your investments are working efficiently in balancing risk and reward. So in this case, investment B with a Sharpe ratio of 1.6 could be providing better risk-adjusted return than investment A with a Sharpe ratio of 1.2. On the bright side, the sharp ratio for investment schemes is typically provided in the fact sheets released by the asset management companies or AMCs. So yeah, there's no need for you to crunch the numbers by yourself. I hope this was helpful. For more such insightful funly talks, hit the like, share and subscribe buttons right away. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.